What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Trucking with Vinny vlog. It's been a minute. Uh, so, give you all a little update here. We are headed over into Illinois, uh, Decatur, Decatur, Illinois. We got a load of empty, uh, like, pledge bottles. You, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's that. Um, I'm assuming we're going to their main production facility where they're going to fill these bad boys up. But, yep, we're having a, we're having a good old ride. Uh, currently, we're maybe about two and a half hours away from Decatur. Um, so far, it's been going very, very good. Um, the weather, as you can see, is looking super good as well. Well, yeah, it's been a minute since I've been on here. I uh, thought I should do a little video. Um, a lot has changed compared to my old videos. Um, and plus, I wanted to do a little update as well. I think this is uh, very beneficial in speaking and you name it, you know, uh, just practicing good communication because we don't, us as truck drivers, we don't really have a lot of communication when we're, but we're cooped up in here all day. Um, so I think this is a very, very good way of uh, continuing on to be a little bit more eloquent and, and communicative in, uh, in language. But yeah, uh, compared to before, uh, we did a lot of local work. We did a lot of container work. Um, I, I've been doing this for the last, um, I want to say, six, seven months so far. Uh, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, I believe I started uh, somewhere towards the end of January, beginning of February, I believe. I'm not. I'm not too sure. Uh, time has slipped away on me, basically. Um, and we we got a little update as well on the truck. We got a newer uh, 2016 Freightliner Cascadia. Uh, it's been doing wonders for me. I I, I love this thing. Um, the old Volvo that you saw me riding in uh, before, uh, that bad boy got sent off, sold off. Thank thankfully, that damn thing cost me an arm and a leg to maintain and upkeep. I'm, I'm gonna tell you that much. Uh, yeah, towards the end there, uh, I ended up having to change out the transmission. I, I'm pretty sure it, this is on one of the videos that I posted. Uh, in turn, it cost me about. Ten thousand uh, dollars, a good bit of money, a good bit of money, um, and shortly after that, I think, uh, well, maybe about two weeks in, after I changed out the transmission, I got fed up, started looking, looking at vehicles that that were being sold. Uh, I ended up finding this one through Penske Used Trucks, and I know before anybody gets started, oh, buy buy a Penske Used Truck, they're torn to shit, blah blah blah. I made sure to do my research on it. Um, I looked at the maintenance logs as well. Um, this was uh, rented out to some company. From what I'm aware, they really didn't haul all that heavy. Uh, it was kept locally. Um, overall, in, in very, very good shape. In very good shape. Uh, I checked it out in person. Uh, the truck, I mean, it, it was it was nice. Uh, it had a few things. Uh, it, it needed a door painted. I, I think I think it ended up getting scratched a little bit from the from the previous guy that had it. But overall, in in, in decent quality. Um, what else? Uh, and there was a tire. Uh, they put recap tires on it, which I mean, to a degree, I'm okay with. Uh, with recaps, I mean, nine times out of ten, they de tend to be okay. Uh, so far, I've been driving on them. They're okay, but one of them, one of them was not good. Uh, the recap was done horribly on it, and like the sidewall was beyond damaged. I, I don't know how it passed any type of inspection, but ended up getting that changed out with them, obviously free of charge. Uh, and there was uh, coolant in the uh, overflow. Obviously, there's coolant in the overflow. Uh, but um, it, it was seeping down through it, uh, which is like a, a standard with Freightliners. Uh, when that coolant bot reservoir bottle goes bad, it, it'll leak down at the bottom. They also ended up changing that out and finally got the truck in my hands and hit the road. Um, yeah, uh, I've been within 
I, I'm going to say within about two months of me doing this over the road stuff, uh, wow, I've been, I've been to half of the U.S. basically apart from uh, PA, New York, and further above over there, Maine, New Jersey. Uh, but everything down, down and below, I, I've been to uh, basically from Kansas all the way to the right. I, I've, I've covered all of that. Uh, recently, I just went down to Florida for the first time. I've uh, never been to Florida up up until now, and I'm I'm going to tell you what, well, Florida is not all that much fun. <laughs> I got down there, I ended up going through a pretty pretty bad snow snowstorm, um, rain rainstorm, uh, with a little bit of flooding. Uh, I'm going to tell you what, it's a bit of an ass clencher, uh, but overall, super super entertaining, very fun. Um, it's just cool to see all these uh, different states and funnily enough there's a lot of similarities between between the states uh, names of roads counties well it, it's it's very similar to each and every other state uh, I thought they would have been a little bit more creative but it turns out no uh, like me I'm, I'm originally from Richmond Virginia uh, the amount of Richmond's that I've been through and seen uh, there's a Richmond in uh, Kansas City uh, there, there's a Richmond in uh, where else? Um, somewhere, somewhere in Illinois. Uh, yeah, kind of cool, but they lack creativity. I'll tell you that. Uh, but yeah, it's been it's been a hell of a ride. I'll tell you that it's been a hell of a ride. A less less stressful too um, compared to my container work days. It was uh, it was something. It was something. It was, uh, yeah, it was, it was a lot. Having to wake up at 3 in the morning every day, uh, it, it, it became a little bit taxing on the body, taxing on the mind. Uh, it kind of fucks with your head after a little bit. Um, not only that, it, it messes with your mood. Um, your sleep cycle gets all kinds of messed up too. It's it's not all that much fun. Don't get me wrong. There's money in it. There's very good money in it. But uh, when you look at it physically and health wise, is it worth it? No. So far, I mean, I've been doing this over the road. I can't. I could probably count on one hand how many times like I've gotten tired or extremely tired. Uh, but overall, I mean, it's, it's pretty straightforward, a load up, take it to the delivery site, they unload you, find a new, new load, load up, deliver, uh, unlike, unlike with the, uh, containers, it was a lot of drop and hook happening, a lot of getting out of the truck, going back into the truck, um, and it was very fast paced, go, 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 um, with this, very laid back, you'll get there when you get there. Obviously, there's appointment time, so, I mean, you got to get there. But it's not as, um, it's not as uh, forced as it is with container work. Not that I'm knocking container, container work. Uh, none of you guys that are, the, the ten of you that are, that are watching, um, Containers are good too, man. They are, but like where I was at down at VIG, NIT, RMT, man, it got to a point uh, they were, it, it was getting rough where you would go into those facilities and you'll get caught up for, for two to three hours at a time just waiting, sitting, waiting. And the issue is you're not getting paid. You're not getting paid to, to sit there and wait. Uh, it got a, it got a little bit annoying where I would go into work at three in the morning and I wouldn't be back home till six in the afternoon, six seven o'clock in the afternoon, and yeah, uh, I I was working way too much and not really having any type of home life, and when I did have the home life, it was like for a couple hours and then go to sleep and wake up at three in the morning, um, every single day, day in day out, same thing, the the repetitive nature of it. It kind of kills you over time. It kind of kills you. Um, 
Yeah, that's what made me. That's what made me run. It made me run from it. Um, a lot of people were uh, in my in my life. They were very against me me doing this, but you know, I had a I had a goal to goal to set when it, when I got into the trucking industry that like this was one of my go tos that I wanted to do. I really wanted to do this, and I am. Like let's say this doesn't pan out where I don't, I don't end up enjoying this uh, a couple months down the line. That's okay. What I'm proud of, I'm proud of the fact that I was able to do it with my own will, with my own fortitude. I ended up going through and achieving this. And I know it's going to sound corny, but I could, I could safely say that I am proud of myself and where I am right now. I. Uh, I'm super, super ecstatic, e ecstatic, yeah, about what I have done. So, yeah, it's a, it's an interesting uh, life path, as well. The other thing is too when, hopefully, here, hopefully, all of us have the capability of getting old, and you know. Being able to tell stories of of what we've done in our younger days, uh, this is going to be one thing. Like you can have stories. You're a well-traveled person. Where oh, I've been there. I've been here. Oh, hey, I, I went and visited this place, and they mentioned the name. And then you have the capability of saying, oh, I've been there. Uh, and then you can you can tell some stories back and forth. Uh, you could connect with a, a variety of people. Uh, with what you've done in your life, which is very, very interesting. Um, I was never, I was never the kind of person to just sit in one spot and, you know, just be stag. Uh, I, I call it stagnant, which may be a bad term to use, stagnant. But I, I, I viewed it that way, where it was a little much, you know, do, doing repetitive tasks. I was never a nine-to-five kind of guy. I'm going to one spot, working eight hours, coming back every day, day in, day out. I, I think some variability, a variab you know the word, uh, has an important p part to play in developing one's character and and growing yourself as a person. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm very, I'm very excited. I'm very excited, and I love, I love what I'm doing right now. But Again, I don't know how long I'm going to do this over the road stuff. Uh, I'm not going to say never. One day, I'll go back to containers too. Uh, for right now, I want to experience this, and so far, so good. I'm enjoying it. And I'm trying to do this YouTube thing. Um, I know as a kid, I used, to, I used to make videos. I posted them up like me jumping on a bed, the corniest thing possible post that up on YouTube and like old, uh, old, this video game that we used to play as kids too, uh, RuneScape. I used to post up videos about that also. Uh, like I always had a, had an inkling of like doing this like YouTube thing and like posting up what I'm doing. And then it'd be re really, really cool, really cool to get some like notoriety. I mean, don't get me wrong, we all like attention too, so a little bit of attention and not only that, a bit of money flowing in from this. Um, I used to be partnered on here. I was a YouTube partnered on this account uh, up until they made the made the change. Like you need four uh, four thousand watch hours and then uh, over a thousand of the subscribers. Prior, it wasn't like that. I ended up getting partnered like way early on on this YouTube account where. I base boosted videos like uh, uh, popular music, and I will post it up. Obviously, it will it will be up there for a while, but it would end up getting copyrighted. Um, I had one uh, MGK. I'm a wild boy. Uh, I had that posted up. I did a base boost of it. I edited the audio file, and I mean it came out really, really good. I had over 1.3 million views on that video. Uh, that I put up. Mind you, at that time I had maybe 25, 30 subscribers, and I mean, it blew up. It, it flat out blew up. Um, 
And as a kid, a fucking 15 year old kid, seeing that number, I, I was like, wow. Uh, then I had other videos, like do 40,000 views, 50,000 views, same thing with like posting up those uh, base boost videos. But now, obviously, I'm not going to be getting those kinds of views. Hell no. I'm going to get 20 to 30, if that. Uh, but I'm doing this for my own, for my own self. Uh, it makes me happy where, where, where I could talk to a camera and get out my thoughts, my opinions. I, I think it's very interesting. But hopefully you enjoyed the ride thus far. Uh, I'll probably end up doing a little bit more videos, you know, with a different areas that I that I go go through. Maybe do a little bit more vlog style videos than uh, what we're doing right here. Um, just show you around, like do the, show you the basics of like how to unhook, rehook to to a uh, trailer, um, sliding the tandems. Maybe do an in-depth video of like how to slide tandems. Um, Maybe an in-depth video on how to like back up and hook up to a to a trailer as well, like basic maintenance as well, or in-depth maintenance. I might end up doing that too. I did a couple of like shorts as well that I posted up on the uh, Volvo where I was changing out a uh, air dryer air dryer assembly. Um, yeah, I think that'd be fantastic. Show you guys. I know there's not a lot of videos online on how to do this stuff. Uh, there are, but not that intent, like the nitty gritty, if you get what I mean. But yeah, I'll end up doing some of those. But hey, whoever's watching, thank you for watching. Uh, Y'all have a great day, and see you next time.